So in addition to the story campaign, which is represented by Prologue, we have four additional game modes which make up what we call Deniable Ops. Those four modes are Hunter, Infiltration, Last Stand, and Face Off. So Hunter mode is basically an elimination mode. You're entering a particular zone of one of these maps. It's about 15 to say 30 minutes worth of gameplay. And your objective is take out all of the enemies in the area. If you slip up or if you get a little too noisy, maybe you're not as stealthy as you need to be, of course reinforcements will show up and that makes things a lot more difficult. Target spot. We also want to make sure that players have a chance to pit those skills against one another. So we've introduced an adversarial mode, spy versus spy, we call it face off. And the concept is that these two agents are stalking each other in the shadows, as you might expect. But in order to add a certain element of strategy to it and make things a little more complicated, there's also an enemy AI element. Last Stand is really something new for the Splinter Cell world. It's, it's basically a survival mode. Our agent or agents are tasked with protecting uh, an object of some value. In this case, it's an EMP warhead that's destructible. And the AI enemies that are coming into the world uh, have really one core objective, and that is to take out that EMP warhead and destroy it, to damage it to the point where it's not repairable. Infiltration, I like to think of as our gift to the loyal Splinter Cell players, the people who've been with the franchise from the very start. It's pure stealth gameplay, which means if you get detected, it's game over. And as you would expect, we introduce a lot of security ingredients into that mix. So we see cameras, we see turrets, we see lasers, all of these elements which help make things a little more difficult for the players who are trying to move through this space without getting spotted. Tango down, neutralized. With all of these new gameplay ingredients and new mechanics that we're giving players to try to use and explore, you know, we want to reward those players that are using those tools. We want to reward the players that are being the completionists and are exploring every corner of the game.